So let's do a checkout. How was that? You know, you got me to say things that I really have not previously expressed to others. You know, yes. I got it to say in such a way that, you know, I found myself in the same, I won't call it rant, but you know, it, it's the same pitch, but I found new nuances to add to it. So I really appreciate that, you know? One of the beautiful things that I find in this is that there's an opportunity because you're in reflection with someone who's got a new energy to mm -hmm. you, um, mm -hmm. that your, you know, our, our resonance inspires something else. Yes. Right? And that's, that is one of the beautiful parts of what this is. How did it feel for you? Uh, I, I'm just curious if me bringing my ideas into it felt like it was pushing into your space. No, 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 no. Okay. That to me is collaborative. Yes. Because that's, that's a way of saying, oh, what you're doing may possibly complement what I'm doing. And it's raising a possibility for future follow-up. It's not invading the space at all. That's the kind of thing I would like to see more of. Yeah. If you had not said anything about it connecting with some of your previous work, I'd be wondering whether or not these ideas are actually getting through and actually yes. thinking about something, you know? Yes. So, yes, I, I'm glad you brought that up because I'm definitely not. Uh, so, anyway, those, are, those fears or whatever should be allayed, you know? I definitely like the resonance with some of the things that you've been doing and that then could be future follow-up for us to discuss. Wonderful. Um, and... Yeah, for me, it was good. It was, I'm, I'm grateful to be able to actually do this work because this is what I'm trying to articulate. So to have the experience of a successful collaboration conversation uh, really helps to nourish my soul because, you know, part of what's been so challenging for me is I see a completely different world that is possible, but it requires us to be different. So I've been working on myself to be confident in this place that is uncharted, unmapped, pushes against so many assumptions that people have about the way the world works, what's possible, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm really grateful that you came. You tell me what you feel and what you just expressed is what I'm feeling as well. I'm proposing something that, you know, I could definitely have stayed silent on because in, inside my fear is, oh, that's just BS, you know, that's just organizational development, but I don't know, that's just psychology, or that's just, you know, and so I'm still trying to figure out, is there a there there, right? Yeah. So you express something that I feel myself. And so for you to say it allows me to say, yeah, I mean, I have the same thing, you know? And so the fact that someone is actually willing to listen, even for an hour, is already a huge point of support, you know? And if I can take this opportunity next week to listen to you for an hour, I definitely want to do that. Okay. Great. Well, let's look at our schedules. Mm -hmm. um, I guess my other question is, are you open to having this posted on the conversational experiments? Very much, because like I said, everything I say, I'm willing to have on the record. Okay, great. So, uh, I'm, I'm never unwilling, you know, and even if I commit a faux pas or even if I say, you know, this is the sin I committed last week. I'm still willing for that to be on the record because that's, that's who I am, unfortunately. <laughs> yes, let's be real and transparent and actually who we are. Exactly. Um, so next weekend, I'm in retreat. By the way, it doesn't have to be weekend, you know. Yeah. Uh, I have a pretty flexible schedule since I work halftime on my contract, so I actually have some halftime to pursue other interests. Uh, what about... Um, Let's see, on the conversational experiments day, what about uh, directly following the conversational experiments? Like, uh, I guess it usually wraps about 9.30 our time. Yeah, so, in other words, after the planning part of it, right? For after the, the planning day. part, maybe 15 minutes in between. Yeah, we can do that. That uh, Wednesday mornings is a good time. Okay, great. So let me put that on the schedule. So we'll call it 9.45. Um, <clears throat> All right. uh, so what I'll commit to doing is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to upload this to YouTube, set it as unlisted. I've been doing them as unlisted videos because I'm still kind of working on the format. And so I've been building a body of material 
and each person needs to agree to put it out or not. So I've been, I've been doing it within a framework to, to have it, uh, Anyway, maybe I should start making these ones public because it's actually a great example of what I'm looking to do. Okay. Um, but, and then I wrap it in a blog uh, so that there's a blog to share. Um, I'll post it to, that's, uh, sorry, th that the blog is there to hold the media and I create a playlist with all of the videos, the check-in and the checkout so that you have all of the links to the work that we've done. Cool and then just put it in a blog so that you always know where to go for our material. Mm -hmm. um, I use Medium and I post them as unlisted blogs as well. So they just, they don't show up in search engines, but okay. if you wanted to share it, you don't have to get my permission to change the settings from private to unlisted or public. And by the way, for my sessions with you, you have complete permission to share them as widely as you want. Okay, fantastic, great, thank you. Um, is there, uh, in preparation for Wednesday, is there a guideline or format or even, I hate to use the word script, you know, that you would like me to follow when we reverse roles in some sense? Yeah. So what I've been doing is, is I'm, I just set the intention for myself to follow my curiosity, um, to look for places where I might not understand what you're saying and make sure to clarify that. Um, to be most of all be present so uh, what in 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 the sense what I did today was I gave you an intro I said my name is Tammy Lee Meyer I'm with Sam Han he has this project called and I'd invite you to share it so that's giving you the opportunity to frame what it is so that you don't have to frame what I'm doing and I don't have to frame what you're doing because the whole point is is that we get to articulate our dreams and our visions ourselves. So uh, would you like me to introduce you that way? Yeah, so just, you know, I'm Sam Han. Uh, I'm with Tammy Lee Meyer, and, sh and Tammy would like an opportunity to share some of the dreams and visions that she has towards, I don't know, we'll decide on the language in our check-in. Okay, good. Um, because I, it, the things that I've been doing have been called the People's Network, Each One Help One, um, the, um, yeah, I, I have like a gazillion names and then there's the alphabet code, right? There's all of these different things that I've been working on that are kind of hmm. very interesting. I still have to learn about much of that. Yeah. Okay. But, so, yeah, I mean, can I give you a little moment of the alphabet code? Yes, please. Um, so the alphabet code is a, uh, is a uh, body of knowledge that I perceived in meditation 17 years ago in 2000. And essentially what I believe it is from what I've been able to discern using my intelligence and walking it out into words is that on the one hand, it's a way to frame the uh, development of consciousness. On the other hand, it uncovers a narrative around the collective change that needs to happen. So it points us in the direction of spiritual truth. And so each letter has a specific meaning. Mm. Um, and it's all, you know, you in, in hearing it, you would hear the resonant pieces of other systems that are embedded in it you know, one will always be also mean unity, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and all that is and all that is not. And so each letter corresponds to a number, a sound, a mudra, uh, and a deeper meaning that points to a collective purpose that we as humanity has. And so as a way to be able to break down and look into what our spiritual purpose might be that's what the tool is so it's it's a transcendent multi-dimensional series of understandings that is meant to help to get us on track as far as the uh, development of our consciousness towards a unified understanding of reality i'm looking forward to learning more have you written this uh so that it's referenced Referenceable somewhere on the net? 
Nope. Um, it is using the letters to say what the letters are a little difficult because I'm, it's, it is the transmission of the knowledge that allows people to have their own insights about what that okay. might mean to them. Okay. Um, so yeah, I can simply say what they all are. Um, and I do have that written down, but I haven't posted it to the internet like that. Is that something we can do on Wednesday that you can actually transmit it to me in that session? Or would yeah. that be something that's not what you want to do? I think it might be fun. I think it might be fun. It sounds like it will be. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do the alphabet code. Okay. Wicked. <laughs> All right, Sam, you're wonderful. Thank you so much for this. No, I, mean, I thank you for being interested enough to actually, you know, invite this and to actually do it and for us to enjoy it together. I, I really uh, appreciate it. It says a lot about who you are. Thank you. Thank you so much. Until next time. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate you, Sam. Likewise. Do. See you Wednesday. See you then.